What's up guys and welcome back to another theory video. Now as you guys know, I'm mainly a gameplay channel, but every now and then a game really gets me thinking and I love sharing what I find, so today I'm going to be talking to you guys about Hello Neighbor. This is a game that's just exploded in popularity over the last few weeks, partially because of its unique you know, cat and mouse style gameplay, but a lot more because of the complex mystery surrounding the neighbor and what he's hiding in his basement. While we don't officially know much, since the game is in really early alpha development, there is a lot of evidence both inside and outside the game that hints at who this neighbor is and what terrible things he's doing in his basement. Let's begin with the million dollar question of what is in his basement. Now right now in the Alpha 1 build, it appears to be some kind of portal? The neighbor walks through the door onto the street where we can see a moving car, parked cars, a tree, road, just a typical neighborhood scene. We hear a car crash, a tire flies out before he returns and walks away. But I believe that this is just going to be a placeholder. I don't think this has anything to do with what the game is ultimately going to become. The pre-alpha simply had an empty room, which came at the disappointment of a lot of players, and the game really had exploded in popularity so quickly that something needed to be added to both satiate the fanbase, but not spoil what the game was ultimately going to become. Now we're given a hint as to what's inside, and the ending leaves us partially satisfied at least, but wanting more, and that's the biggest thing, because this is a game that's still in development, there's going to be a lot of things changing, a lot of things to come, they can't just give us the ending now, so I don't expect this neighbor to be any kind of interdimensional space traveling creep. One of the best pieces of evidence as to what's inside his basement actually lies in this concept art. You've probably all seen it before in YouTubers' thumbnails. It's used in the place of empty rooms because of obvious reasons. But here we can see the neighbor dressed as a clown emerging from the basement. And this is especially interesting because there are two major themes seen throughout his house, and the first is a circus. The nightmare scene has us lined up as if waiting to get on an amusement ride. The hidden rooms are placed behind a circus-style BB shooter. Even the crazy floor shark that he has upstairs is actually an animatronic, which gives us this very Chuck E. Cheese, childlike amusement park vibe. This trend carries on in the trailers presented by Tiny Games. It's actually a full four minute long trailer of gameplay in the basement. And lo and behold, it's not a portal to another dimension. I feel like this is something that a lot of people have missed. If you want to actually see what the basement looks like, then I'll leave a link in the description to their video, but there's a full four minutes of them running around in the basement, and there's a lot here. The twists and turns and warping of the rooms and the hallways, it's very reminiscent of a fun house, and the music is once again very circus-like. <gasps> What's actually happening in this terrifying candlelit basement, however, is far more chilling. This all ties into the second major theme that we see in the house being children. Not only does he have a full-fledged classroom in his home, but also a nursery. We see children's drawings littered around the home, both in the game and in the trailer, which leads to a disturbing moment once the player enters the basement. A mother and child crying, and a man silencing them. As you descend into the basement, you find a mattress on the floor and an empty crib. Now there's no evidence throughout the house that the neighbor has a wife nor a child, but the only photo of him being of him with another man. What's interesting about this photo is that it was clearly taken a long time ago. The neighbor has a beard and long hair, both of which aren't now present. In the trailer, we can see that the player has tricked the neighbor to go outside and check on the electricity, so we know that it's a different man in the basement quite likely this mystery man. This is especially interesting because the picture really shows us that the neighbor is the dominant part of this relationship. He seems to be quite oppressive, quite controlling in this photo, so it makes a lot of sense that he would be the one comfortably living upstairs and guarding the house, while this other man is the one downstairs doing the dirty work. The 
The woman and the child clearly sound like they're in peril, possibly because they're being held captive, or possibly because they know what's coming next. We also see throughout the outfit that the neighbor has a strange fascination with live burial. He has a gravesite in his home and a burial bell, and once the basement door is successfully opened in the alpha, the protagonist is buried alive. What this doesn't explain, however, is the teacher mannequin that's currently buried in the home, along with all of the other mannequins throughout the house. To me, this really comes off as a look into the broken psyche of a psychotic man. Maybe something happened to him as a child at a circus, and he's both figuratively and literally burying his childhood to escape it. With all of the clues added up though, I really do believe that these two men, the neighbor and his accomplice, are working at a circus or amusement park, abducting people, keeping them in their basement, and ultimately burying them alive. What a neighbor. So up until this point, all iterations of the game have played out between the protagonist's house and the neighbor's house with an invisible barrier around the two. Now we do know that you can actually escape this barrier with some glitches, but there's nothing relevant out there beyond neighborhood set dressing. One very interesting thing the developers mentioned in their latest update, however, was a second playable area. And um, I think the obvious question here is that how can you stretch uh, like a single location into a full game? Well. I can tell you that we're not pulling off a Metal Gear Solid 2, where you had like the tanker and that was the only thing that was advertised, and then you know there's a whole other game with Raiden. Um, I will tell you that the game will take place a lot in the house, but that's not the only location. And one of the locations that we have already revealed without the spoilers is the fact that the basement is actually going to be playable. Uh, how the basement will be playable and what are the other locations, I think that's what we're going to keep a secret unless a lot of you guys really ask us to reveal some stuff, so then we'll, uh, we'll post like a really like big spoiler warning on what the final game is. A second location that would heavily spoil what the game is about. Hmm, I wonder what that could be. A large part of this theory has been built on the trailers and the concept art rather than what exists in the game right now, but there is a lot in the game that indicates what we can expect to see in future updates. The developers have shown us in the past that they introduce pieces to the game before their use is actually implemented, such as the furnace before there was a need to freeze the shark. One thing that we can definitely expect to see is a continuation of the second floor puzzle. Right now, if you want to retrieve the basement key, it's lying next to the bear in the bassinet, but we can see on the floor that the bear is going to contain the key and is going to have to be burned in the furnace to retrieve it from inside. We can already open and close the furnace right now for no reason, so I think that makes a lot of sense. As I've shown in a previous video, we also know that the neighbor's train is a physical object. The player can interact with it, and inside we can see a clearly labeled start and stop button. The train exists on the third floor leading up to the fourth floor, so it makes a lot of sense that this would be a way for us to travel in between floors and potentially escape the neighbor. We can see this train again in the concept art released by Tiny Games showing off what the final house will ideally look like. This is apparently changing all the time, but they've described the house as absolutely massive, with far more difficult puzzles and climbing, two things that the community have shown a lot of interest in. Now we really don't know when any of this is going to be implemented, they have said that there's going to be two more alpha updates in 2016, and one of which is going to include an update to the art style to what we will expect it to look like in the final game. Finally, let's bust some popular myths surrounding this game. Number one, the basement is in the game. When screwing around with the crouching and jumping physics, you can actually launch yourself outside and under the map, which actually gives you a great look at a giant box under the neighbor's house. Now, judging by the trailer, the basement is not a flat area, and we can't actually see his stairs leading down from his house to this box, so it's entirely likely that this is actually where the nightmare sequence takes place. Number two, there's a third person in the game. In the evening when walking around outside, you can actually hear footsteps that are not your own, nor the neighbors. When isolated, however, this is clearly somebody walking up to the microphone and ending the recording of ambient sounds before it loops again. I actually contacted the developers about this, and they told me that they've done no real sound design at this time, so I expect it to just completely disappear in a later update. Number 3, The Golden Apple a lot of people have been transfixed around this apple at the beginning of the alphabet chart in the classroom and how it's golden rather than red. 
You can find golden apples in his fridge, you're given one as a dummy prize for the gun game, but I don't really understand why since golden apples are a totally normal and delicious thing. Hell, Google Russian apple because the developers are Russian and you'll probably see why it's not red. What isn't normal, however, is a flower with a smiley face. I don't trust you, flower. Give me your secret ending. But that's gonna be it for this Hello Neighbor Theory video, guys. Do you have any theories of your own? Have I missed something? I feel like every time I make one of these videos, somebody leaves a comment that just completely opens my eyes and changes the way that I look at a game, and that's awesome. I absolutely love it. I make these videos because I'm incredibly enthusiastic about it. You know, it's like I said, I am a gameplay channel. I am gonna be playing a lot more Hello Neighbor in the future, which I'm looking forward to. I can't wait for more of the updates, but I never know if I should be making these theory videos. So if you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like, and maybe I'll make more of them in the future. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.